A smart mailbox uh, is a mailbox that has sensors, RFID technology and a small microcomputer and it does few things. Uh, number one, it has a digitized address so the address can be read by uh, using an RFID reader. And uh, number two, when new mail comes, uh, it notifies the home, uh, the owner, homeowner. Uh, it sends a notification email to homeowner's email uh, account. And then number uh, three, uh, it works as a driveway monitor. So if a person or a vehicle comes up on a driveway, then the mailbox can detect it and it can take a picture of the person or the vehicle and sends it to the homeowner's email account. Um, so if there is a digitized ad address with an RFID, so there is no way a mailman or a drone can actually make a mistake. So the a building can be accurately identified. Uh, it can be used in addition to GPS. So the GPS will tell you the latitude and longitude of a, a particular building. But then uh, you still sometimes need to look at the Google Street View uh, to identify the actual house. But you know, Google Street Views, the, the, those pictures are taken every few years. So the house can change and also at night you may not be able to uh, identify. So therefore the address digitization part actually uh, benefits in that way. And uh, the security monitoring part has its advantage. You know, it can replace the surveillance video camera uh, and it is much cheaper. It takes picture only when someone or uh, something comes. Uh, whereas a surveillance video, it, it's always running, it's, it, it keeps taking pictures. The main thing is a uh, microcomputer, we're using an Arduino, mm -hmm. and it's the brains of the, the mailbox, and it controls the um, RFID reader, which is mounted inside the mailbox, and that acts as a lock, it's, it's access control. The uh, Arduino itself is connected over Wi-Fi, so whenever it sends a notification, it uploads a picture to Dropbox and uh, sends an email through the Wi-Fi connection to the homeowner. So the security device uh, inside the mailbox does not have to be inside the mailbox. It can be implemented separately. One problem we identified uh, was the privacy issue. Uh, when you write something in the RFID tag, it can be readable by any reader. So RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification and it's more prevalent than most people probably realize. In the student IDs and employee IDs here, the CSU badges, they're RFID tags so they have an RFID chip in them that can communicate with any uh, RFID reader that operates on the same frequency. The idea came in a very funny way. The mails were misplaced and then uh, we started talking about, you know, Amazon is going to deliver uh, mails using drones and uh, how are they going to identify a house if uh, <laughs> the number is nowhere, I mean, how can it accurately identify the house? Uh, not just Amazon but Google is also experimenting with drone delivery and we read in some article I think you uh, showed, showed it to me that in Australia they're also experimenting with drone delivery. If not drones then perhaps uh, automated mail delivery vehicle with you know I guess maybe a like a robotic mailman <laughs> right yeah. which could use this same technology to help identify the correct location wherever they're dropping off packages, mail, etc. It was a real challenge to, you know, put everything together and make it work. It is a, a very challenging work because nobody has ever done it before. So he had to figure out how to uh, connect the computer to the internet, what kind of software to use, how to write a program, and he did an excellent job. He was very dedicated, very hardworking, and uh, without students like him, these type of projects cannot be successful. I am uh, Lydia Ray. I am Associate Professor of Computer Science at TC School of Computer Science. I'm Ross too, and I am a graduated master's student from the computer science program here at Columbus State.